Tomorrow morning we're gonna head to the island over here. I like these adventures. That'll work, Finn. Bring the firewood. You can see my breath though. Yeah, that's nice. I think he's Ooh. Ah, we got him. <laughs> oh, that's a dandy. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I came up to this lake that I haven't been to for quite a while, about probably four years. What I'm doing in this video is the same idea that Zach had on one of his videos recently where he spent a night on a tiny island. So I have a tiny island over here. Um, it's got more trees maybe than the island Zach had, but it's been raining all day. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. It's not going to be ideal, but uh, I was pushing snow with the bumper of the truck to get up here today, and it is May 27th. I didn't know if I'd get in here, but I know I'm the only one in here because there's no tracks except mine. I couldn't believe the amount of snow, and I didn't bring the chains this time, but we made her to the spot. My wheel wells are full of snow. And we're in June, basically in June. So when you get up to these high lakes, snows any time of year up here, but uh, it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days. So may not be super pleasant, but we're gonna do her. I like challenges. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna head to the island over here and it's gonna be fun. I like these adventures. Zach suggested that it'd be a good idea to show my take on an overnight island adventure. So that's why we're here. Thanks Zach for the suggestion. And uh, like I say, I like these kind of challenges. So I have to tell you a cute little story. Um, I got an email the other day. Well, actually it was an old email, but I just happened to come across it the other day from a Stephanie. Uh, we're not gonna give last names or anything like that. But her four-year-old little daughter, Amber, spent all day, they went camping, but when they were out camping, uh, she spent all day gathering firewood, a big pile of firewood, uh, this cute little four-year-old girl. And the objective was, she said, if we build a nice fire, maybe Greg Ovens will come and sit and visit with us. And I thought it was just the cutest thing. I had a frog in my throat when I read the the email. But Amber, you did an awesome job collecting that firewood. That's exactly the kind of firewood that I like. And I would have loved to have spent the day just sitting by the fire with you. But thanks for watching, Amber. You did an awesome job and I do appreciate it. So one thing I can tell you right now is it is not going to be easy <laughs> to start a fire. It's damp, it's cold, it's been raining all day and I like to use my ferro rod. Now yes, I did bring a lighter, but I'm a diehard. I like to use my ferro rod. So we'll see if we can find anything dry that's going to work proper. Here we are in June, trekking through snow. Holy crow, this is, this is like two feet deep still, the snow right here. There it is. I found some dry twigs, some old man's beard that I think is dry enough, I'm hoping, because it is pretty damp and chilly, but I thought it would be appropriate, since I told you the story about little ember, to use the Joker ember knife. So I'm starting this fire for you, ember, just like you collected firewood for the fire for me. The only thing is I left the tag on it. I don't need the tag. It's kind of like the guy that goes to a wedding 
and he's got the price tag on his suit, eh? Keep going. Okay. Now we'll take that to the fire pit. And we have a fire. Cool. You got fire, Finn. Go get the firewood. Go get some firewood. You're all wet. You're all wet. You're soaking wet. Oh well, you'll dry out, eh? Okay, let's get some more wood. Bring the firewood. Good boy. Bring the firewood. Bring the firewood. Good boy. One of these days, you're going to learn to bring it right to me, Finn. See, it's firewood. Goes on here. Go get it. Bring it. Bring the firewood. Good boy. Good boy. Bring it. No, go get the firewood. Ha! Oh. Good boy, bring it over here though. Can't burn it over there. Bring the firewood pin. Is that the firewood? And head to the island. The weather doesn't look as bad as what they said it was going to be, but it could rain. Um, I'm bringing the boat. I'm using an electric motor actually, but I'm going to use the boat as a shelter hopefully. I'll show you what I'm bringing. I'm packing light. I'm going to bring my ferro rod, my knife, a saw, I'm hoping we have firewood over there. I'm also going to bring a garbage bag because if it starts to rain, this is not a raincoat. So I can make a makeshift raincoat out of the garbage bag. Actually, it's starting to rain now. It was supposed to rain, but hopefully it's not brutal. And I'm going to give you another survival tip. I'm bringing a pot to boil this water in the lake because I don't know if it's safe. Here's the thing. Anytime you're in a survival situation, even if you think the water's good, you wanna boil it. And I'll tell you why. Because if you get sick, you're in a survival situation, you're on your own, regardless of if you think the water's clean or not, boil your water. Because if you get sick, now you might not be able to build shelter, you might not be able to build your fire because you're too sick to function. Think about that one. So I will boil my water. I'm out here by myself. People do know where I am, when I'll be back, but that's not the issue. In upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you ways of boiling your water, even if you have no containers, no pots, no pans, nothing to boil your water. That'll be in a future video, but make sure you boil your water in a survival situation. Just checking the island out. There looks like there's firewood here. 
I think it'll do. It's not very big, but there seems to be firewood. Watch out. Somebody's actually had a fire here before on this little island. You got the firewood? <laughs> oh, I can just pull it out. That'll work, Finn. Come on. That'll work. Oh, good boy. Okay, let's go. I'm not ready for bed yet. Okay, we're set for the night. Got the fire. The boat, if it rains, will be perfectly fine. I'm good. It's soft ground under there. Uh, for those of you that don't know me well enough yet, I spend a lot of time just sleeping on the ground without bedding or blankets and this and that. Been doing that most of my life. So as long as I'm dry and I got the fire, I'm good to go. Uh, even if it freezes tonight, I'll be fine. So right on. We're set for this little island venture. So it's actually been a pretty long day. It may not seem like it, but... Uh, I was windy most of the day and I couldn't fish much. So in the morning, maybe we can catch a fish, but again, it wouldn't be the first time I've gone a day without eating either. I'm perfectly content here. This is comfortable, believe it or not. Um, like I say, I do this a lot. Boiling my water in case I get thirsty in the night. Fins all dried off, so that's good. So we'll see you in the morning. And this is actually pretty cool. Don't forget, like in an emergency, a boat works great for a shelter too. I actually have some uh, soft moss near my head here, so you can see my breath though. I'm not worried, I got my coat and it'll be fine, so, so don't panic. morning <laughs> well I wish I could say that that was comfortable but not as comfortable as uh, the skunk cabbage bed was but well we lived didn't rain I want to try to do some fishing today because uh, I didn't want to come all this way and not catch a fish really and we didn't catch one yesterday be nice to have one for breakfast before we head out of here so that's my goal today. Okay guys, I think I got one. <laughs> Finally. I've been trolling around for a while. I mean, I don't put the camera on unless I... I got one. It's pulling the boat around. 
I hope I don't lose this guy. He's fighting good. Hard to tell how big. Feels okay. And of course I don't have a net again. I don't care. I mean, I don't usually have a net anyway. Oh, he's pulling pretty good. He might be decent. Oh yeah, he's decent. Oh, I hope he doesn't get off. Easy. Oh yeah, he's pulling the boat. As long as he's hooked good, I can get him in. He's decent too. Oh yeah, that's nice. I think he's. Oh, yeah, I think he's hooked pretty good. Don't get off. I hate it when they get off. Ah, we got him. <laughs> oh, that's a dandy. Oh. Jeez, that's a dandy. Come on, stay still. He's a fighter too. That's a dandy rainbow, man. That is decent. Nice. <laughs> now that makes me happy. Not breakfast, but lunch. Grab some fish. I hope you learned something. Got a little piece for Finn. Come on, Finn. You got to get in the camera. We're here. Sit. Gentle. Gentle. Good boy. So, we'll see you on the next one. Lots of adventures coming up, and thanks for watching.